The four million polled them by the one millionth, the two millionth, the fourth mi four million. Oh, here's the six million vibe. It keeps getting better. That is nice, that, isn't it? Very sage looking. The paint's beautiful on it. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Gets a bit abusive on the road like that, guys. It's a little bit short for the pedals, guys. That's what I'm Oh, Dodger! Dodger! Babe, Dodger's here. I see that. Yep. Dodger Moore's here. Dodger. Kim was just telling me these Sandman vans, she had a few experiences in the back of them. <laughs> she was just telling me, yeah, when she was growing up. Yeah, I don't really want to ask what sort of experiences, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I think it goes without saying what experiences she had in the back. Well, I'll give you a hint. It's for him. Yeah, it's not for me, I can tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go up there, sweetie. You don't have You're to. You're going up there? You go up. You go up. I'll wait here for you. <laughs> have you got any babies? He would never baby. <laughs> you got balls, has he? Yes. I'll tell you what, if you keep on being fucking greedy on these holidays, you give me my stubby here, I'll have all your out of here. I'm sorry. In a bloody flash, I can tell you. Where was that? As if she wouldn't bloody know, eh? Tries to hide it from me all the time, but you can actually fucking smell it. A bit smells a bit fishy. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Okay this is where we left off in part 22, about to go into the National Motor Museum at Birdwood, South if Australia. Is in here with the camera. Hey guys, this is it right here. Okay, so here we are. We do have to wear masks, so it is Kimmy Russ Adventures though, isn't it, babe? Yep. It is ours. Look, look, look. See, it's us. It is. See, see, okay. I wouldn't mind if you brought me one of them petrol bowsers, babe. It'd be very nice. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, or even one of them Ferraris would be nice. Or, <laughs> or like I said, beggars aren't choosers. It's you, River, isn't she, eh? Oh, you would have had one of them back in your day, babe. Yep. Lamborghini. I, told, I said it was a Ferrari. Yeah, it's a Lambo. <laughs> oh, here's the old Rolls, babe. Kim, you would have grew up with toys like this, wouldn't you, babe? We weren't rich enough to have any. <laughs> Weren't you? No. Uh, okay. Oh, we had an old pedal car. Yeah, something like this one. I'd still fit in one of those. Which leg or which foot? <laughs> which foot's gonna go in it? <laughs> Cause nothing else is going in it. That's a one million Holden. A what? The one million Holden? The two million oh. Holden. The four million polled them, babe. The one millionth, the two millionth, the fourth mi four million. Oh, here's the six million, babe. It keeps getting better. I know which one I'd want. Which one, babe? Down the end. And that was the last Holden, 2017. Still got the plastic on the seats, guys. Very last one, babe. Bit sad for Holden lovers. Look at Marilyn here. She's a convertible. Left hand drive. Oh, there's the effigy. Yep, that's the effigy. I love that. Monaro. That is nice, that, isn't it? The effigy. Face Sweet. age looking. The paint's beautiful on it, isn't it? A yeah, glimmer. That's inside of there, guys. Nice, isn't it, eh? 1959 Chrysler, AP2. 1960 Dodge Phoenix. Oh, big Chevy with the big wings at the back. Bel Air sedan. What year is it? 1959. It's not bad in here. Very cool. Where's Kimmy? Look up there. There's a Commodore up there that's been signed. Yeah, I've seen that. What's that by all the workers? Who Probably. You should see the Tirana down the end. It does not look like a Tirana. I'll go down and have a look in a sec. Look at this rig on the end here, babe. Goodness. Is it out of Mad Max? Yeah, it is. Gee, River. What it's is it, a Mad, Mad Max? Max? 1984, yep. Mad Max film prop. Cool. 
Sell a bit of everything there. Lollies, seeds, everything. Just like a little travelling shop they are. Oh, look at that way. Seats up on top there. She's wooden and everything, that one. Uh-oh, I'm off the track, babe. I'm onto it now, babe. <laughs> She's what cool, is, babe. I loved playing that game. What are you coming? Oh, I don't know, babe. You're 40 out of 40, babe. 40th position. Did they? Oh, I better make up some room, ground. 39 out of 40. I'm proud of you. I'm not. You didn't come last. I'm not proud of me. Kimmy! Go, Kimmy! Come on, Kimmy! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! She's really ripping it up in the. Isn't she? She's ripping her up there. Look at that. The intensity on her face. She's going for it. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Kids a bit abusive on the road like that, guys. She's in position 30. She's going well. She's a little bit short for pedals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even sit back on the seat. There you go, 30 second, mate. That's okay. That's okay. better than me. I'm happy with that. Through to the next pavilion. Look at the Valiant, mate. Yeah, I know. No charger here, though. That is a charger. That's not the it ones. It is a charger. Not the ones I like. What's up here? Oh, motorbikes. Look. Ha <laughs> ha, look. We'll see our little QA50, probably. Little Honda 70. Oh, Dodger! Dodger! Ah. Babe, Dodger's here. I see that. Yep. Dodger Moore's here. Dodger. Roger, Dodger. Oh, God, we. Uh. How would we have fitted in that? Garage full. What? How do people fit in that? You would. You and your sister would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've even got 20s music playing out here. One of these got a radio playing in it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story, sweet. No, no. It's a true story. Can you not hear the radio, guys? I'm not lying. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> Had it for a minute, guys. She's been chopped, this one. Rolls Royces. Nice little jukebox corner. 1957 CB Selectomatic KD220 box. Now we're coming on to something, aren't we, babe? On to bikes. Is that your car over there, that telecom one? Hmm? Is that telecom one your car? <laughs> what hey? is that? Is it a car? I remember seeing that on telly, actually. Volkswagen chassis that used it for parades and other promotions during the 80s. Indians. Very nice, eh? Look at that one, babe. That's very nice. Douglas replica. Harley Davidson. 1923. 28 Harley. Motorized push bikes. Look at them. Track racer. <laughs> 1924 track race, about 1200cc. Well worth having a look at, guys. A lot of old bikes in here. Huck's the Leyland Brothers. As That's the Leyland is. Brothers bike. All right. Weren't they fake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Leyland Brothers. Land Rover. Some stuff here in it, babe. Yeah, so much. Kim was just telling me these Sandman vans, she had a few experiences in the back of them. <laughs> Is that right, mate? <laughs> she was just telling me, yeah, when she was growing up. If I had experiences now, I'd have to be in a bigger one. Yeah, I don't really want to ask what sort of experiences, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I think it goes without saying what experiences she had in the back. Well, I'll give you a hint. Look at this number plate. <laughs> blown. <laughs> blown V6. That's a Trana, though, babe. Trana. I think Kim's Harley's been here. There's an oil patch on the ground. Babe, your Harley's been here. Look, there's a patch of oil on the ground. Done <laughs> <laughs> up pretty good, this old garage. Yeah. Alice Anderson's Motor Service was located at 88 Cotham Road in Melbourne, suburb of Kew. 
established in 1989. First female Gary, garage owner in Australia she was. Look at this scene, man. She's ripper, isn't she? Yeah. Where Ember? Well, by Stephen got the crushed velvet and the mattress in the yeah. back. Made for loving this one. Old Tirana they were mucking around with. Talking about bringing back out, wasn't it? Yeah, look, you wouldn't know it's a Tirana. Yeah, it's a concept car, I think it was. This is the other side of where you come in at the reception. Going up like an old garage, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Or I ain't gonna live like this no more. Most my life's been waging war. Till I found peace, I could have swore. What she did shook me to the core, and I ain't gonna live like that no Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Trouble comes when the barmaid pours. Another four man who should have found the door. Oh, when I get gone, you can hear me roar. And I know I can't live like this no more. Oh, I ain't gonna like this no more hurting as bad as the years before living in a lie I can't or I had to cut ties to settle the score I ain't gonna live like this no more okay what a great little museum that was wasn't it, it was. plenty of things in there cars everything trucks fire engines motorbikes and a good gift shop in the boat yeah as you can see Kim got a gift, didn't she, eh? Manuka honey with goat's milk. Hand cream. So I don't know. when you get old, it seems to be we're getting more and more of this stuff on the road. It's for him. Yeah, it's not for me, I can tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, guys, we'll catch you back on the road. OK, so we've left the museum and now we're in search of the big rocking horse, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Which apparently, according to Henry, the GPS is only six kilometres down the road. So we'll soon see, won't we, if he's lying or not. That's it. That man said there's some roots on the road. Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't happen for me, babe. <laughs> How come it happens for him? I don't know. Uh, he wasn't even as good looking as you. Oh, well, there you go, eh? He might but have he... had a better bike. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Old Springer. It is very pretty up through the Adelaide Hills. Yep. Reminds you a lot of Tassie, doesn't it? Windy road. Yep. Green pastures. A big rocking horse, yep. 300 On meters. On the left, babe. Am I going to be pushing up? Pushing shit uphill. <laughs> yeah. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, guys, we've pulled up at the, um, the giant rocking horse, haven't we? We've got an animal sanctuary just there, haven't we, sweetie? Yep. And they're all living happily together. And I think you can walk through there too, babe. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, they've got a path. We'll see. What? You're scared. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty's scared. The main ones I'll be scared of are those goats. Because <laughs> they butt you. Yeah, one thing is, you won't be carrying no food up through there, will you, babe? No. Because they're going to come at you if you carry food, aren't they? You can buy food for them. Yeah, you can do. Two dollars, I think. So, guys, there. It's the big rocking horse. Wow. Geez, <laughs> one motherfucking big rocking horse, isn't it, eh? What do you reckon, babe? What's that? Can I have a look at that? Because I don't trust you with photos. That's recording. Hello, people. Rust, is it? Trust me. Uh, Rust, you don't trust it with photos. Oh, look at the little baby rocking horse. That's the one I'll be getting on. 
I don't even know if you, she would have got that in shot, actually. I didn't. No, I didn't think so. I didn't so. even see it was there until now. Look at him old clicky over there. Biggest rocking horse in the world at the toy factory Gumaracha, South Australia. The big rocking horse is a tourist attraction located in the town of Gumaracha, South Australia. It was designed by David McIntosh. The structure weighs 25 tonnes and stands at over 18 metres tall. It's one of the number of big things in Australia designed to attract the attention of passing motorists. It is part of a larger complex that includes a wooden toy factory, wildlife park and cafe, and was once used as a fire lookout before the trees around it got too big. What's this stuff? Shop. Emu oil. Kind of got some toys here. It's a toy factory, though. This is a toy factory. Look at that. Puzzles. We've got everything in here. Rolling cars, 20 bucks each. Cool. I'm going to have a go at it. Yeah, I'm a boy. So that's up to down. I don't know. Can we do it again? Yeah. Thanks, Mum. Wow, oh, cool. that'd keep you interested for hours. It would, wouldn't it? And it doesn't matter which way Ooh, the car's up. Uh. <laughs> We've got stuffed toys. Is that an alpaca? It is. Look at him. Oh, isn't he pretty? He is. Handmade stuff. That's the best stuff, in it? Yeah. Work that, babe. I want to see you play. Oh, I'm really it. It's noisy. Kim gets amused by things like that. <laughs> That's yeah. noisy. See, Kim, Kim likes toys. <laughs> What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> hey? Toys. Okay, guys. So, take your mask off, babe. Show them the tickets. Kim is going to do it. I did pay a bribe. No, you didn't. There's no bribes. Are you coming up, sweetie? Yep. Well, don't be so slow about it, babe. Both hands to climb the ladders. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Oh, we're up the top. No entry up there, mate. No, no we're not up the top, sweetie. Well, this is as far as you can go, because that's no entry too, so... It's as far as you can go. Up only. We've got to go up there, mate. Show me. you got to go up there, sweetie. You don't have to. You're going up there? You're going up there? You go up. You go up. I'll wait here for you. <laughs> uh... That is the wildlife park down there. I don't think Kim wants to go up. No, Rusty can. <laughs> Do you want to go up? Yeah, nah. She did say any level you get she a certificate, Tweety. I just told her two steps and she said that's fine. This is up on. We won't say the top. We're up on the middle, won't Not we? Not the top. We went up one and a bit flight of stairs. Yep, I, I definitely wouldn't be getting... Until we found we had a ladder. Say goodbye to the horse's tail. Because we've just done the big rockin' horse, haven't we? Babe? Look, proof. Proof, see? We climbed it. More than you! We did not go right up to the top, did we, babe? No, the stairs are dead straight up and down. Yeah, nah, a bit steep for old Kimmy. So they've got an animal sanctuary here too. Just here? Yeah, those goats have butt. Hello. We've got kangaroo. Here comes, comes Ringo. How do you know it's Ringo? Come on. He's got a tag on. No. You know, the Adam Sandoval one's got one called Ringo. Oh, has he? Yeah, oh, okay. Adam and Ashley. Come and say hello, Skippy, then. He's eating stuff. Is he? Green oh. green poo. He's not eating. No, that'd be all that cabbage leaf and everything, cauliflower leaf. Oh, sorry. I picked on you for no reason. Oh, Jesus. Down there? It's only two bucks to get in there, but yeah. who wants to go in there with those things? <laughs> <laughs> She's a scared <laughs> cat, isn't she, guys? I am. So that's... The big rock and horse. Hello. Have you got any babies? He wouldn't have a baby. <laughs> you got balls, has he? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, well, you ask him. Well, he might be a daddy. He's a daddy. All right then, guys. That's the big rock and horse. We're going to hop back on the bikes and we're going to Handorf. Handorf. Can you Here speak German? No. OK. Can you, you did German. No, I did French. Oh, you did a French. No, I say. did a German, yeah. You did a German. <laughs> Teacher. I can't spell. I can't speak German. No. I, I, yeah, no, I won't go into that. You did okay, German. guys, see ya. Bye. Bye. Let's do it. Proceed in these beautiful Adelaide Hills. There it is. 
Yeah. Turn left down here, babe. Yep. It is very beautiful up and around through the Adelaide Hills, isn't it? It is. Lots of orchards, nice roads. Albeit they're a bit funny on some corners. They're um, dug up a little bit. So you do have to take care. Okay, so we're coming up to the little town called La Bethel. La Bethel or La Bethel or something? Something like that. Yeah. The rising sun. We've seen a lot of rising sun motels. I, I keep I keep thinking we're going around in circles. <laughs> yeah, we're lost. <laughs> Motorcycle cafe. Ooh. Currently coming through Woodside at the moment, guys. We're not that far from Handoff now. Only about 12 k's away. Some some pretty little towns in the Adelaide Hills, isn't there? Yeah. This one not so much as being prettier, but it's not bad. Very old, very old, some of them. The towns, that is. Okay, so we're coming up into Handoff. I've lost communications with Kimmy. Not to worry. Hundoff is located in the Adelaide Hills of South Australia and is the oldest surviving Germanic settlement in Australia. Founded in 1839, you can discover the charm and hospitality of this contemporary artesian village located just half an hour southeast of Adelaide. You can explore more than 100 shops including a leversmith, jewellery, brewery, wineries, distillery, chocolatier, German style pubs, bakeries, restaurants and cafes and it's absolutely beautiful. So we're in Handoff and we're looking for some accommodation aren't we babe? Yep. Somewhere to lay our sweet little head. Is that right? <laughs> I wouldn't have gone that far. Uh, Found a Chinese restaurant. Yep, seen that there babe. Handmade sweets there. But you were handmade, weren't you, babe? I was. Yeah. Only one of you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice place. We're just doing a block of the uh, main street first, guys. Just having a look at our options. It's a bloody long street. It is. I'll tell you what, if you keep on being fucking greedy on these holidays, you give me my stubby here, or otherwise you're out of here. I'm sorry. In a bloody flash, I can tell you. Well, sorry guys, didn't realise you were on. But now that you're here, we'll tell you what we've been doing all day, won't we, babe? What have we been doing? Not drinking. No, but we are now. Yes, we um, left Manham this morning and we went to the National Motor Museum. Yep. And now that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Eh? We walked around there for a couple of hours, had a look around all the cars, motorbikes, everything. Not bad. Right up through the beautiful Adelaide Hills, one of those. Absolutely beautiful up through there. And made our way down to the big rock and the horse. <laughs> Kim wanted to hop on that horse, I can tell you. <laughs> Don't worry, you can hop on this little pony later. <laughs> Won't you, mate? <laughs> Biggest rocking horse in the world, they reckon. Yeah. yeah. So that's down the road a bit. Yeah, down the road a bit from the National Motorcycle Museum. And then we took off there. And we come down the Hondorf. You'll speak a lot of Dutch. No, it's not that. It's German. It's German, isn't it? It's well, I don't know, I don't know, no, well, German. to say hello in German hello? is hello, hello with H-A-L-L-O. -L Doesn't matter. Handoff, South Australia. Beautiful little town. Cute. Beautiful main street, beautiful green and the shops in there and everything. A must-see for everyone, mm. I think. A must-see. Mm. And then we rocked up here to our motel, didn't we, babe? And, um, well, actually, no, we rocked up here first. Then we went downtown to have a look, didn't we? How many times did we go up and downtown looking for... It was a bit stressful. They used to have a bottle shop here. I stress, they used to have a bottle shop here. Now, they've got a lot of German pubs. Very fucking dear over the bar, though. In a bar, very dear. Mm -hmm. Yep. Six packs. So we walked and walked and walked. And we found a pub again, didn't we, mate? Got a cup of six packs. We'd be relieved about that, weren't we? We could have walked to the next town and got onto the bloody... We could have, couldn't we, babe? Yeah, yeah no, this, this cheeky babe in the lolly store, she told us, I'll oh, just out on the high... No, nah, I'm not doing that, not going the highway. So we'll just go out the... No, not driving down that way. I said, we want something in town. Yep. 
Anyway, we found something. Right, so this is our motel room. I'll just show you outside, guys. Look at this. That's the main street straight over there. Very beautiful little main street. You will see a video on it. You can just see the bike there, old Rusty's bike there. But we're not, we're not a bad little surrounding, is it? Hey, she's not trying to lock me out, is she? No. Right, so we got the love nest. Ooh, kukaracha, kukaracha, I shake it all about. I do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's all it's all about. Man, then you know that song. <laughs> hey, hey, that's the love, that's the kukaracha. We'll be going on there later, won't it? You'll be riding this pony hole. You'll be riding. Jump with the royal one. The head's on What's wrong? <laughs> We've been down the leather shop downtown and uh, the wind said everything was rusty so excited. <laughs> anyway, there there's our little kitchen there. Oh rusty. Oh, I'm a bit fucking worn out now. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, this is our shower. Now should I... Oh no, it's it's found its own hiding place, has it made? Oh, hey? It's found its own hiding place. Where was that? Oh, where was that? As if she wouldn't bloody know, eh? Tries to hide it from me all the time, but you can actually fucking smell it. The bit smells a bit fishy. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, we got to go, guys. We're going down the street in a minute. Um, what are we going down there for, babe? We're going to go and get some tea, okay? And um, we'll meet you on the road tomorrow. Babe, come and say goodbye. Sweetie! I'm with you right now. Why? Bye. <laughs> okay. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in more conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make